Hey, in this video, we're going to learn about the properties and behavior of the relative layout. The relative layout is the most versatile layout in Android and it can allow you to create literally any kind of uh, layout that you're looking for. Uh, the relative layout allows you to arrange components relative to the layout itself or relative to co other components within the layout. So the first thing we're going to do now is to, uh, we're going to arrange some components that are relative to the layout. I'm going to take a button, let me drag it in. And here you can see we have uh, the button and it is aligned to the top as well as the left of the parent, which is the relative layout. Also, you can align this to the center of the parent. You can also align it to the right of the parent and top align it. By the way, you can also center it both horizontally and vertically. And you can just align it to the left of the screen or the right of the screen. And you can do the same with the bottom of the screen, align it left, right or the center. So this is how you position the button or any view relative to the layout itself. And we have a button here and let me place it in the center of the screen and uh, let me try to drag a label into it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this text view above the button and I can also align it to the align the left corner of the text view along with the left corner of the button. And also you can notice I can align the right end of this text view to the right end of the button. And that is how it basically works. You can place a, a component or you can specify a position of the component relative to other components on the view. And let's go ahead and inspect the raw XML. And here you see we have the relative layout and within the relative layout we have a button. And the button says it is centered horizontally and it is also centered vertically. So uh, there is also another property that you can use to center a button to the screen which is uh, center in parent and set it to true so that uh, this button will be placed at the center of the screen which is equivalent to layout center horizontal equal to true and layout center vertical equal to true. Let's go back and you can see the position hasn't changed. Uh, we have replaced two different properties with one property and uh, we also have this text view which is placed above the button you see that uh, we have the button with an id that says button one and we are referring to the same button it is not necessary to have the plus sign here you can remove it that way you can see that we are referring to the id which is assigned to this button and we have also specified uh, the text view to be aligned to the right of the button and uh, it doesn't make much difference whether you include a plus or not but to make it clearly understandable I'm removing all these plus signs it's just like referring to the an existing resource by calling at the rate of resource type slash and name of the resource so that's what we are doing here at the rate of id slash button one and uh, that's it uh, we have uh, specified the text view to be aligned to the right side of the button and you can notice that's how it behaves exactly there are a bunch of properties that you are you might be interested in which you can see here right from the layout parameters it has a bunch of properties also if you're interested in editing the xml itself you can go to the xml and press control space on mac as well as on windows and you can see a whole bunch of properties here, some of them that are specific to the text view, but there are other properties such as the ones that start with the layout underscore prefix. We have the layout to left off, to right off, above, below, align baseline, align left, align top, align right, align bottom. So these are the different uh, properties that you can use to align your components relative to one another. So oh, that's about it. Uh, most of the time you will be using the um, graphical layout editor. However, it's really uh, good to know about the properties that you will need to use from within the XML. 
So that's the idea and uh, given Android has different screen sizes, uh, it can be very small from phones to large devices such as televisions. Uh, the relative layout does a really good job of uh, arranging these components appropriately for all these screen sizes. It's, it's really uh, adaptable, it is really versatile and it's really flexible uh, to use. Now that's about it. Uh, that's the overall idea. The things I, I wanted to tell you here is the relative layout uh, is very very flexible and most of the time you can create any kind of layout using the relative layout. And the other thing I would like to, I, I wanted to tell you is uh, it has a bunch of properties which will allow you to place components either relative to the layout itself or relative to the children within the layout. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.